So as, <clears throat> as you guys know, I'm always trying to inspire you guys to live your dreams and, and just go out there into the world and do whatever you feel you want to do and, and, and just be the best person you could be. And, and for me, my dream is to, as crazy as it sounds, it's to become an actor one day. And, um, you know, I feel like I learned a lot through, through YouTube and a couple months back I had my first audition and it was the worst experience of my freaking life. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the brand new Call of Duty video. Two Call of Duty videos in a row. Give me a round of applause, guys. We might even have another one tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I have a very uh, funny and ironic story that I wanted to share with you guys that I don't know why i never spoken about on my channel before. It's crazy because I always feel like I'm telling you guys what I want to do with my life, the direction I want to take my life in, because I think it's very important to have some sort of a, a goal in your life or some sort of a set a place that you want to go to, a place that you want to be, and always have some sort of a goal in your head. And just even if it's a short-term goal, it could be a long-term goal, it doesn't really matter. But I always say that I want to be a big actor one day. I want to win an Oscar. I want to be Captain America in the Avengers. I'm always saying that, but I never told you guys about my first TV audition that I actually had. So if you guys have been subscribed to my channel since I've had about 200 or 250,000, I think I had actually 190,000 subscribers at this time because I went on a show called Good Day New York in New York City. And I actually put on my YouTube channel, it's so way back in the day if you guys want to go check it out. I think I titled it like Day in the Life of Face Sensor Good Day New York or something like that. I have a whole skit on my YouTube channel. And I remember I got an email from a certain producer that works at a Fox station in New York City and he said that he saw my YouTube channel, he really wanted to do something for their show, I met Greg Kelly and I met Rosanna Scotto. If you guys know who they are, they're pretty big in New York City. And basically, I had a, a skit on there where I went up as the real Doug Martin, and people thought it was crazy that a kid could play video games and also work out. So what they did was they had two other guys pretending to be like me, to pretend to be the real Doug Martin, and we did like a skit on Good Day New York, and it was actually a really funny, good skit. Well, I wouldn't really call it funny and it wasn't really a skit, but it was pretty cool to be on live TV because that was my first ever experience with it. And ironically enough, exactly a day before that, I got an email from Nickelodeon because they wanted me to host a TV show. They said, Doug, you know, we I don't know how they found out about me. I don't know what it was or whatever it was, but they said, Doug, we think you would be perfect for this TV show. We want you to host a certain segment before Friday Night Lights, I think was the show that was going on TV. Or, well, that was the first opportunity and then that just didn't happen. So they said, hey, Doug, we have another opportunity for you. We really want you to do this we want you to host some sort of a, a thing before a show or something like that but it was gonna be on Nickelodeon they wanted me to be the main person hosting it and I always think it would be fantastic like obviously I want to shoot for the stars and be like a huge big actor but it's it's not easy it's a lot of luck you gotta know the right people you have to be talented at what you do I don't even know if I'm gonna be good enough I have to take classes and practice but to have the opportunity to host the show I feel like that's pretty easy to do because that's just really being yourself and just speaking clearly in front of a camera which is something that I am very comfortable doing but no this audition actually was to host the show but not as myself i had to host the show as some sort of a punk kid or some really corny lame high school student who has like this really terrible sense of humor guys like i can't even imagine like i remember this guy's freaking kinetic armor Are you kidding me yeah i got kinetic too you want to shoot at me no. Why did I just, I don't know why I just got so ahead of myself right there. I got shot in the side. So I guess the managing director that was producing this whole show wanted me to come out and audition for the part because I guess I was on a list to audition or whatever. And she wanted me to do the part and she sent me the script. It was like three pages long and they wanted me to, I guess, rehearse the script. And it was a lot of lines and, and I only had less than a day to prepare for it. And I was already on a show earlier that morning in Good Day New York and I was barely on any sleep at all. So I told the girl, like, listen... I don't know if you have more time, but can I come back another time because I don't feel confident, I don't feel ready, I don't feel prepared to do this audition because I haven't really went over the script. I've been really busy. I was on Good Day New York earlier this morning. I haven't had any time to go over the script. And she's like, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You could read the script off the lines if you want to. Just come in. We want to see your face and see what you're all about. So I was like, all right, very well. So I go into New York City. I go to the Nickelodeon building. I had to go through like three things of security. I had to show them like my life history and like my whole family and everything because I had my little uh, nieces and nephews with me in my hand as well and then I went and I wanted to vlog all of it too and put it on my channel but they were very picky about it they said you can't vlog in here you can't bring a camera anywhere so I'm thinking like holy shit like this is the real deal like I could actually have an opportunity to do something with a huge huge network like Nickelodeon and, and host a show like I used to be a fan of Nickelodeon the Disney Channel Cartoon Network like all those crazy things growing up as a kid and now they're giving me an opportunity like that is pretty cool and I was very grateful for it so the girl that I was talking through through the emails that set this all up for me I guess the person in charge of all this was a super super nice lady 
lady. She told me to just come through these big brown doors and she's going to be sitting behind a desk. So there I go, walking up this Nickelodeon building, go behind the big brown doors. I open it up and there she is sitting behind the desk. So the first thing I think is to just go up to her and say, hey, my name's Doug. You must be so-and-so. And I go to shake the girl's hand. And she, guys, this is where everything goes weird. Now, I don't claim to be a master at business, but I do know about proper etiquette in public and how to show respect to people. And I don't know what the hell is going on. The game just ended. I am tripping. There is something wrong with me right now. I don't know what is going on. Anyways, I understand manners and I understand public etiquette and how to conduct yourself in public. And for me, I've never been to an audition before. So when I walked into the room, I saw the girl. She didn't even look up to me. She's still like looking down at a paper and writing. And I said, hi, my name's Doug. It's nice to meet you. I put my hand out like this to go shake her hand. And my hand's like right here in front of her face. And she's not looking up. She's not staring at me. She's not acknowledging me at all. And all she does is keep writing. And she goes, go stand behind that green line over there. And I still have my hand out like this, like, is this woman for real? Is she really not going to acknowledge that I'm trying to shake her hand right now? And she didn't at all. And I was in my head saying, is this how auditions are supposed to go? Like, I'm supposed to just walk in here and just act like I'm just going to do the part and then walk out, like, not shake their hand, not show any respect. I don't know. Like, I've never been to audition before, so I didn't know. But I just stood behind the line. I don't have any paper on me, so I'm just going to use these copies of Call of Duty. And pretend this is paper right now, guys. So I'm sitting there, and I have this big script like three pages long she wants me to audition non-stop just go through the entire thing i'm like okay here we go doug first time three two one <sighs> deep breath go i start reading the script and there was a show about something grill accent that's all i can remember and i'm like hey guys welcome to the show something grill accent and it was like this super super cringy over the top corny corny script and i couldn't get myself to believe the words that i was saying and it just came out so wrong and i could just see the girl the look on the girl's face she was looking at me like this is a waste of my time get the hell out of here but she wasn't gonna say that to me so i she's like, humiliating me at this point i felt i continue to read the script because she's not saying anything to me and i know it's going awful but i continue to do it and do it and do it and i'm like and today we're gonna be eating tacos and this and dimes and nickels and shoes and i don't even know what the hell i was saying at this point and i'm freaking out and i'm like Oh my god, I definitely am not gonna get this part. <laughs> I took the script, I just freaking threw it. I was like, all right, you know what, whatever. She just said, all right, thanks, we'll get in touch with you. And I knew in my head, she's not gonna get in touch with me. Walked out of the room with my head put down in shame. My aunt asked me how it went, and I had to give her the disappointing look, looking straight up into her eyes and said, horrible. So guys, if there is a moral to this entire story, if there's something you guys should get from this video, it's that whenever you do an audition, if you ever have the opportunity to, don't shake the person's hand. No, but seriously guys, if there's anything I could tell you, it's that I had a horrible audition. I knew it, but I know that I have potential to do better. And maybe you guys don't care as much about all this world that I do and, and acting and all that stuff. Like I really want to get into all that. But I understand that sometimes things aren't going to go your way and sometimes you're not going to do as well as you want to. But you can't let that affect you. You always have to keep your head up and keep moving forward. Keep practicing. Keep getting better at what you do. When I first started playing Call of Duty, for example, I was terrible and I was able to win on the highest level. So guys, use that as your example. Anything is possible. It was just a really quick short story that I want to share with you guys. And I thought it was hilarious too. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have anything that you want to pursue and you don't know if you feel confident enough in it or not. But if you really love it a lot, let me know and I want to see what you guys think. I hope you guys all have a great day. <laughs> it's still like, it embarrasses me just thinking about it. Like my face is turning red right now. But hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin and I'm out guys. Peace. Before I get into this video, I want to take a moment to acknowledge somebody who tweeted me today. He told me that his parents got divorced and he's getting bullied in school and he has no idea what to do and he asked for my help. So the thing that I'll tell you, man, is that my parents got divorced as well when I was a very little kid. I don't remember it. So I only grew up with my mom and that was basically it. I mean, my mom had a couple of boyfriends and then eventually her second husband. But for the most part, it was just me, my mom and my sister growing up. And I can't imagine what it's like for you right now. And I didn't like going to school because honestly, I didn't know what to say to people when I was in school. I was very shy and quiet. And now I talk for a living, which is very ironic. But, um, you know, the thing that I could promise to you, man, is that things will get better as long as you try to make the effort for them to get better because you can never rely on anyone in this world to do anything for you. So you have to go out there and make the change yourself. So with that being said, I hope everything works out.